In part four of learning about environmental toxins, let's talk about BPA. I think BPA is one of the most known toxins um, only because we see BPA free all the time. And BPA is used to help harden the plastic. That's what it's in. And as you can see where it's found at, is going to be all the plastic things like water bottles and food containers and baby bottles, um, the lining of cans, which you'll see on cans now of like a BPA-free lining, um, certain dental sealants as well, and something that might be very surprising to you is receipts. So please do not hold your receipt, love on your receipt, rub your receipt. We don't want to do any of that. We just want to not take it or take it and just put it away and not hold on to it because it can seep into your hand. And there actually has been studies that show people who work at cash registers tend to have higher levels of BPA. So what exactly can it do? Well, it can bind to thyroid hormone receptors. It can mimic estrogen and stimulate the cell receptors as well. And it also studies have shown that it affected the way our ovaries and our testicles, if you're a man, um, it affects development in that area. And I think this is really cool to see it affect different parts of the body. Not cool because we don't want it, but you can see how it's a very systematic um, response. So it can trigger liver inflammation and also impact gut bacteria causing dysbiosis, which is that imbalance of good and bad bacteria, which is what we want to be in balance. Make sure that you are using BPA-free things, choosing the stainless steel, choosing the glass containers, and don't always fall for things that say BPA-free. If it's like a plastic, but it says BPA-free because there are BPA chemicals that are very similar. That isn't as well known as BPA, but that's why I'm a fan of just choosing glass, stainless steel, silicone even, because you know that you are safe. So if you love this stuff, learning about environmental toxins, make sure to follow us on Instagram at Nuvi True Wellness because we're always going in and out of talking about this because we view health very holistically. So when someone comes with, with us and they're having a certain symptom or they're having a certain issue, you know, we're obviously using diet to impact their health and to turn it around because diet is so powerful, but it's also so many other things that we want to address like movement and stress and sleep and your environment, which includes environmental toxins. So make sure you are following us and getting all the knowledge possible so you can be more aware consumer.